In my last video, I introduced you to a long-term project of mine to recreate the Single 8 home movie cartridge. It's been out of production since 2010, and there are some very good cameras, but no cartridges. I'm coming back with a new version of the cartridge. I've been, uh, I've spent a lot of time measuring cameras and doing more CAD, and I've come up with this cartridge. Hi, my name's Jenny List, and welcome to another exciting episode of What's on Jenny's Bench. Actually, that's more specifically what's on Jenny's friend's Carl's kitchen table, because that's where I am today. The new cartridge is very similar to the previous one. It comes in two halves. It has the same three screw holes to hold it together. There we go. But it's dimensionally a lot more effort has gone in. This is a as clear as I can, near as I can get to a perfect replica of a real single eight cartridge. Inside, I have put a lot of effort into uh, avoiding light leaks. So everywhere has two overlapping edges. This edge protrudes down into the cartridge and inside the cartridge to stop light coming in round where the film comes out. There's another edge there. It means that everywhere at the sides, there are two layers of plastic that the light has to find its way round. This is my first iteration of this cartridge. It was actually about a millimetre too thin and it's got just a, a big hole for the selector for selecting the film speed. So I produced this version. Now this version, it, aside from one major CAD mistake where I left out the uh, pulley where the film goes round, uh, this is a as good as it gets. This is pretty much the final cartridge. Where it isn't the final cartridge is I've printed a pair of reels in this red PLA. Now they're actually not glued together, they come in two halves, uh, but with a bit of super glue they make a nice little, little film reel. The only problem with this is this isn't what a real single eight film reel looks like. I've only ever seen photos of a single eight cartridge, I haven't seen a real one, but they didn't actually have a reel with flanges like this. They had a reel which was just the spindle in the middle and the cartridge was narrow enough that it would keep the film in place. There was also a little metal spring that pushed the, kept the reels pushed against the, the what would be the top of the cartridge in this uh, orientation. Also the, um, the spindle also had a little protruding piece on the other side such that on some cameras you could actually rewind the cartridge. I haven't implemented that. It's probably something I'll implement in the future. So I basically made something that I think would be a good single eight cartridge. So I've even incorporated, where are we, it's on this side, the selector for, I think it's 25 Acer um, film speed. Uh, so the little protrusion in the camera will find that hole at the right place. I followed the specs, I hope I've got it right, haven't yet tested it with real film and a real camera, it just runs in a camera, but I hope it's selecting the right film speed. So what have I got to do? I have got to recreate these reels such that they are little more than the spindle with a guide to get the film started. I've also then got to create a film winder that can wind a roll of film without flanges to keep it in place. Now I'm thinking about this and what I will probably do is make a winder where I put my my flange, my, 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 my spindle, if you just ignore the flange in this one, I'll put my spindle in the cartridge and it somehow winds it in the cartridge. Then the cartridge is the bit that keeps the film uh, f flat and evenly wound so that it fits in the cartridge. This is something I've got to design. I'll probably have to design a 3D printed jig for this. And as part of my design, of course, I'm looking at it in the light, you're looking at it in the video camera, but this is designed to be operated in a dark room because the only way you can fill a film cartridge with film is in a dark room. So uh, that's another thing that, uh, <coughs> a challenge that I'm going to have to uh, overcome. But this is a lot closer to a real usable, manufactured in 2023, brand new single eight film cartridge. So I thought you'd like to see it anyway. 
I don't have a sponsor for my videos, but as before, I'd like to take this moment to talk about something else I'm involved with away from my career writing about tech. I am a board member of a small non-profit called Trans Rescue. We get trans people like me out of dodgy and dangerous places around the world. I'd like you to go to our website, read our blog and see what we're up to, and if you can, help us in our work. Thanks very much and thank you for watching this video.